Data science is the intersection of effective management of data, methods of analytics or statistical analysis, and specialization domain, which could be anywhere between biological research, finance and marketing, clinical, business, Internet of Things, and the list goes on. In the same way, bioinformatics is at the intersection of informatic sciences, statistical analysis and inference, but a specialization in biological data. And that biological data could mean a lot of different things as well. Interestingly, biological data has been evolving over the past several decades, especially since the completion of the Human Genome Project, when the excitement about finding genes responsible for different diseases and phenotypes has been growing. We can see how this big data is especially accelerating during the time of the pandemic, for example. Over the past several pandemics, like SARS, Ebola, MERS, and Zika virus, small numbers of genomes were collected to study the genomic components of those viruses. In the SARS-CoV-2, in the first several months, there has been a three to four increase in that number per month. And now we know that a huge variation of genomic sequences and the responses from the host, the patients that are infected with this virus, have been studied. So we live in the age of high throughput technologies. And one of those high throughput technologies is next generation sequencing. Next generation sequencing allows us to study multiple levels of omics data about a particular biological phenomenon. Phenomics refers to the way things look and how they are characterized at the external level. For example, we can look at one stage of a disease and another stage of a disease or how cell morphology tells us what the cell type is. And all of those phenotypes are and collectively are referred to as phenomics. Genomics refers to the variation at the genomic level. So what kinds of single nucleotide or multinucleotide variations we can observe at the level of DNA sequence. Epigenomics refers to genome-wide uh, methylation patterns and different modifications to histones, which could have different tails that either make the, the chromatin compact or expanded and potentially more available for gene expression. And then finally, gene expression itself, we can look at different levels of gene expression and different levels of alternative splicing or how different genes are combined together from exons to make actual transcripts. Together, this omics data has a very specific property. It has to be processed from short reads. Those individual signals have to be assembled into a data set that describes the sample. And uh, in biological research, this type of data could be used at the clinical level, at the biotechnology or the lab research level to understand how different types of diseases, different types of conditions, could be associated with these specific molecular features. Now, omics logic provides a complete roadmap for data science or how to apply data science specifically to biomedical research data, including different types of phenotypic data, clinical data, and omics data. In this program, you will find, in this program, you will understand how to find data sets explore them and visualize them, how to read papers and understand research methods, and gain insights and understanding, so learn about the methods and their application in the context of these projects. So essentially, it's a roadmap that will guide you through from wherever you are today, in terms of your understanding of omics data, to the logic of analysis. And importantly, this is a project-driven process. So we will introduce you to a variety of different projects starting from cancer diagnostics to single cell and tissue composition and understanding of different features of microbiome and infection. To do that, we have designed a workflow where we will study experimental design, how data is generated and collected, how that data is processed to create structured tables, how we can perform exploratory analysis, and start asking specific questions about the data, hopefully leading us to meaningful biological and reproducible results. 
In the context of the program, we will cover a lot of different methods. These methods include data mining, analytical thinking, statistical hypothesis testing, and classification. For example, we will look at how we can take a table of expression and start comparing multiple samples to each other based on groups of samples, understanding the differences between them, but also understanding variation within groups of genes and samples. As a result, we hope that you will see the relationship between bioinformatics, or the way we apply data to biomedical challenges, and the result of that, which is diagnostic methodologies and novel therapeutics.